Hello everyone, we're outside the Friary right now and I am headed to a shopping center. And as you know, we are in the season of Advent that is preparing us for the coming of Jesus Christ, but also for Christmas. And as the song says, you know, Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. But for some of us, it could be the most sorrowful time. You know, the song also says it's the most happiest time of the year, and it is. But it's not always happy. Sometimes it's the most loneliest time of the year. So today, brothers and sisters, we're going to talk a little bit about how to overcome those holiday blues. And I'm right there with you. Earlier this year, I lost my dad. He passed away. So this is my first Christmas without him. During this Advent season, I know many of us, uh, of course, are preparing ourselves spiritually for Christmas, but, you know, we got to do the practical things as well. You know, many of us will go shopping, you know, we'll go take, take care of business at the stores and the shopping centers, the malls and things like that. And when we're in these places, it's decorated for Christmas. You know, we see Christmas everywhere. And of course, it brings about a certain warmth. And when we see this, you know, memories often come to mind. We think about like, you know, our, uh, our times with our families in the past, you know, growing up, you know, and things like that. And maybe we can, we, when it comes to mind, maybe a relationship we were in, maybe we're not in a relationship right now, things are bad, or maybe our, our marriage is suffering a bit and we think about the good times and everything. And, you know, that will just invade us, all, all these memories, all these thoughts, and, you know, it brings, brings about a, a certain sadness. Uh, because because we don't have that right now and you know we got to work to overcome that as I was saying earlier uh, this will be the first uh, advent and Christmas season without my dad so of course you know I'm experiencing uh, these same kind of memories too and you know when what helps me is of course to pray you know, I have been there too, being lonely back in my days before religious life when, you know, I was out there dating and, you know, discerning what my call was and everything. And it'd be, uh, you know, the Advent season, Christmas time, and I'd feel the holiday blues and the loneliness and the sadness that came with that. But what really helps is, of course, our prayer is going to God immediately, taking the loneliness, the sadness right to Him. And giving it to him first and foremost and it's also a time where we can reflect a little more deeper on the life of the Holy Family and of course Jesus Christ you know we think about the Holy Family and the Holy Family you know they had some things going on wrong for them you know they of course were inconvenienced by having going all the way to Bethlehem to for the census and you know, all of that involved with it. And then of course they couldn't find an inn. So this was hard times for them. And then we think about Jesus. You know, Jesus, he experienced loneliness too. And of course, sadness. And that's where we gotta take to him. And, and we gotta think about that because that will help us to cope with our own sadness. We think about Jesus and as we think about Jesus and as we're giving it to him, what does he give us? He gives us healing. He gives us strength. So even though we, we take our things to the Lord, our problems, our difficulties, the struggles we're having in this season, the pain will still be there. But there's some things we can do to help that. Of course, you know, we got to enjoy the time, enjoy the season, you know, go shopping, you know, watch the Christmas movies and things like that. But we got to be careful that we just don't get caught up in the fantasy of it all. You no, know? and there's just added to the fantasy because that too will cause us sadness because there we go again. We're thinking about overthinking what we don't have. And to help us with that, we need to focus on what we do have. And first and foremost, we have God. You know, if we're lonely, we are, and if we're alone, we're alone with God. And, you know, just to think about, he's, he's given me breath, he's given, us, he's given me life. That means that he loves me. So, think, you know, remember that. Also, to think about what, the other thing, what we, the other things we have. We may have family, we may have friends. 
um, we you know have a job or whatever it is and to show God gratitude for all those things Jesus the Lord is the reason for the season for the Advent season the Christmas season and of course all seasons and he is the one who gives us comfort he is the one who gives us healing especially in our times of sadness so whatever it is we are experiencing this Advent or Christmas season the Lord knows and he's always there to embrace us with his mercy with his love and to raise us up so instead of you know just letting the seasons or this time bring us down go to Jesus because he will lift us up and when we again start to think about him meditate on his life meditate on his poverty simplicity there we go he rises we rise up with him because we're going to him but we thank you for watching uh, this episode of outside the friary uh, know that you continue to be in our prayers and we are especially praying that you have a blessed advent season as well as christmas one that is most beautiful and very powerful and so remember to like comment share subscribe Tell all your friends about this, and may Almighty God bless you. May the Lord give you healing, and may he strengthen you in this time and always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.